Hello everybody, my name is James, and welcome to the StarCraft 2 Dual Commentary, and I'm joined once again by Eagle Bad Guy. Say hello, Eagle. Hi there, viewers. Thanks again for tuning into this commentary we've got for you tonight. We hope to have a good show for you. Yes, yeah, so it's a little delayed, and this one's going to be a TVT on Lost Temple. It's going to be Cookie Monster versus Tarson. Yes, we've got Tarson as the blue Terran in the 9 o'clock position, and then Cookie Monster as that red Terran in the 12 o'clock. Yes, and looks like Tarson's already moving out of SCV to build a early barracks, it seems. I wouldn't be surprised to see some sort of uh, cheese coming in from Tarson. I mean, the standard is, in fact, dropping that refinery, so most definitely going to see some Reaper harass from Tarson without even having scouted out his opponent. He, this is a risk, but it can definitely pay off if you catch your opponent unaware. Yes, and this was part of a two-game set we found on sc2rep.net. Well, even Bad Guy found it. Why don't you tell us about the previous game? Uh, the previous game was, again, Cloud v. Tarson. I think this was just a show match series. It was on Scrap Station with heavy airplay from both sides, and Cloud actually using Ravens for effective anti-marauder point defense drones, which isn't really something you see too often in TVT, but it really showed it can be a valid strategy. And meanwhile, we've got Cloud throwing down his barracks and a refinery of his own. Uh, it looks like that scouting SCV going to pass by. Tarson completely misses Cloud's. And it looks like he's going to go to the bottom right-hand corner. Meanwhile, Cloud coming into Tarson's base to have a look around. And let's see what he sees going to the first-person view here. He sees the command center and the refinery. He doesn't see that barracks up that's hiding just out of view, view on the right-hand side of his base. I bet you in his mind he's thinking there's got to be a proxy barracks somewhere. But no proxy barracks, but he's still got the right mindset. There is going to be some early aggression from those Reapers. Like he's taking the Zelnaga Tower now, trying to see what, see if he can see the barracks anywhere. But obviously he can't. Yeah, even pulling uh, three SCVs with that single Marine down to the bottom of Cloud's base, uh, looking to stop any sort of harassment, throwing down a bunker, which he's now salvaging to place another one. I guess he just didn't like the placement on that one. Apparently not. Well, that was close to his mineral line. And I would like to say that the reason we're calling Cloud Cookie Monster, some of you might have noticed, is that is actually Cloud's nickname. He's an Italian player, and on a Team Liquid Attack episode, he drew a Cookie Monster out of Zerglings, and he earned, uh, I believe, the mouse pad for best gameplay that round. So, you know, you got to appreciate a player with a sense of humor. Yeah, so now Tarson moving in with his two Reapers in SCV, which did get spotted by the by the SCV on the Zelnaga Tower. It looks like this isn't going to be very effective for Tarson. He picked a very bad point to go into. I mean, both players lost an SCV, but those Reapers didn't do the damage, especially looking at that income. We're up to 16 Harvesters for Cloud, oh, oh, down to 9 for Tarson. So this is the very tight position to be in for him. He needs to make this work. Yeah, so he's getting in a third Reaper now to try to get some harassment on his mineral line. He's going to pull it off. I don't know, he's got to be able to catch Cloud out of position doing this. He's got four Marines that are relatively close. Going in now... Tarson coming in with those Reapers. It looks like he's going to focus fire down that mule. Excellent play by him. He does lose one Reaper, but that mule, that's a loss of about 100 to 150 minerals, depending on how long it's been down there. Yes, and I do believe they got an SCV as well. No, they didn't. Those Never mind. It was very good play by Tarson, really effective. Uh, he got in, did some damage, but he didn't overstay his welcome and end up losing those units. Although he may lose them, yep, he just lost them charging up right into Cloud's Marines. Yeah, that was a good uh, game sense by Cloud, thinking he would just, you know, pop right back in. He did have that Marauder at the base of his ramp to see if they would fly by again. So he knew they were there, that was really excellent game sense and play from Cloud. So moving out now with his five Marines and two Marauders. And Tarson's only got one water coming out now. Looks like they're going to run and into each other. Tarson does have a Hellion out there with that factory, and he's also got a starport on the south end of his base. Uh, this is pretty sneaky. He may decide to go for some Banshee harass, but it doesn't matter because Cloud's coming into his base. He's going to be able to do some damage because looking at the unit station, it's three Marauders and six Marines versus two Marauders and a single Hellion. 
and look at him roasting those uh, marines, but it doesn't matter. He's able to pull away and do a huge amount of damage to his SCV line that he had to pull off the line. And meanwhile, Tarson getting that Hellion, very nice placement, roasting three of those marines, shutting down that push, but it doesn't matter. I mean, Tarson's down to seven SCVs versus 18, so this is a very, very bad position for Tarson. Definitely, Tarson's pulling out. Um, I'm assuming we'll now try to deal with that, but it hurt a lot. Uh, taking a look at Tarson, he does have that starport rallied all the way over to that Zelnaga watchtower, putting it on Tech Lab. My money is definitely on some Banshee play right here. Definitely Tech Lab's up now, and yep, ban first Banshee in the queue. Rally pointed all the oh no, only to the Zelnaga watchtower. And meanwhile, Cloud, it looks like he may end up doing some of his own. He's got two of those barracks up, one with the Tech Lab, one standalone. Pulling that factory off of that tech lab, it looks like he's going to do that swap for the starport. Very good play. Yes, you always see that in these games. When Town usually ends up building a tech lab on their barracks, perhaps researching still, and then moving in uh, a starport or factory to take full use of it. Looks like Cloud's actually taking that Zelnaka watchtower, shooing away that Reaper over there. And Cloud's actually using his factory for scouting, which is something he did in that first game with those. Uh, close by air positions on scrap station, so it looks like he doesn't really favor that mech play so much. Doesn't look like it. I guess you use the factory for tech and then use it for scouting. Yeah, that's not something you usually see in TVT. Again, it always comes down to uh, most of the time those air battles and then those siege lines with the Thors to back it up. That being said, Tarson has nothing to deal with clouds. Um, factory, unless he lands it and starts trying to pump out hellions of his own. And meanwhile, over in Cloud's base, we've got that Banshee unchecked. He does have some Marines following it. That Banshee may go down, sniping another mule. Very good control from Tarson. He doesn't have stealth uh, upgraded, but he just flies away doing the damage he needs to. He is researching stealth just as Cookie Monster is, is researching Stim as well. And. and Cookie Monster's factory just hanging out over Tarson's base. Yeah, he's doesn't... really getting plenty of scouting info saying, oh, you know, I can see everything you're doing. I see that low harvester count of yours. I've got no problem holding back and letting my uh, economic advantage really play out for me. Although it does have a Viking out now to deal with Cookie Chase... Monster's Banshee and factory. Oh, down goes the Banshee. Looks like that was shut down pretty f easily. Tarson finally taking, starting to take out that factory. Looks like his Cookies of Steel factory is going to go down. And we've got Tarson constructing another barracks, and even those SCVs repairing that Banshee, which is something you always want to do. Don't, no need to lose it when it comes all the way back to your base. And the Quicken Ones are still insistent to get even more scanning information with this factory. So I've got to say, Cookie Monster is taking his natural expansion and using that uh, Marine Marauder Ball for some defense, even throwing down a missile turret with that SCV to ward off any further Banshee play. Yep, he even has one in his uh, mineral line as well. Oh, no, he has two on either side in his main to protect him from any or more Banshee attacks. Uh, take a look at this production tab. What do we got? We've got Marines and Stims coming up for Cookie Monster and Marauder and Marine. I think I just saw, yeah, he's got a medevac out. He may try some drop player, just keep that bio ball alive. First things first, healing up the Marauders and Marines that are on low health. And Stealth Banshee coming in now for Cookie Monster. And, oh no, he doesn't. his Orbital Command does not have enough energy to scout this. Cookie Monster wisely picking off those Mule first, just like Tarson did to him. He's going to be able to keep this up. It, that uh, scan is a long way off, and Tarson just, he, there's nothing he can do right now. A huge economic damage now. Let's have a look at the units tab. It looks like that energy is going to run out on that Banshee and Uncloaked, and down it goes. But looking at the income, we're at, it appears, 31 for Cookie Monster and 10 for Tarson. Tarson is in a very, very tight spot. He needs to make something happen. In fact, now it's saying he's got 9. Uh, look at that, peaking about 1,600 per minute for Cookie Monster compared to Tarson's 260. Ouch. Yeah, Tarson moving out now with quite a sizable force, but I think Cloud can deal with it. Yeah, this is one thing. He's got to make this push work. 
I do like that he's got that Banshee mixed in there, but Cloud pulling out a Raven, could we see another point defense drone? They're very powerful against Warders. Stim's going down from both sides as the Raven throws down actually an auto turret, and it looks like Tarson's forces might just win out on that, unfortunately not paying attention, losing his Banshee there. Uh, Cloud forced to pull his SCVs off the line to deal with this. Yeah, it was a, a huge, a huge attack, and Cloud's forces got decimated, it seems. Yeah, we're down to 29 SCVs to 11. He did some damage, but not everything they needed. He's actually forced to pull back while he waits for those three Marines reinforcing. And meanwhile, I've got Cloud on that high ground. Looks like he may try and take out... No, all of his forces get decimated, and he might actually be able to do some damage here, take out that Expo, and really keep him away. Unfortunately, not paying attention to the Medivac getting taken down by that missile turret. Pulling off of even the SCVs from his main to deal with this, it seems, or just transferring them blindly. Though yeah, I gotta say, forces. looks like Cookie Monster knew he had that uh, retaliation in the bag, pulling off those SCVs before he was even done with his forces. A little bit cocky there, but he did deal with it. I think he still knows he's got that firm economic lead, simply because of how much damage he did earlier. And let's see, taking a look at production facilities, we've got four factories just standalone pumping those marines. He does have that engineering bay with infantry level one already done, and he's got a tech lab barracks, a uh, reactor barracks for double marines and, and starport still with that tech lab he's just going to stick with that single medevac it's a really good idea especially against uh, this bio ball he's going up against building a now a forward missile turret it seems for cloud while Tarson's moving out yet again I guess say this is going to be probably a very bad position for Tarson he does have those Hallions but there are still a small number of marauders mixed in there. Let's see what happens. It's like cloud scouting, see if we've got any other epoxy bases. Now moving in, using a lot of marines, those hellions. You're going to stim there. It looks like Tarson does manage to take out that raven, but he did drop that point defense drone, but it didn't really do any good. A little too late on that. He's coming in with those stim marines and marauders. The stim just now wearing off scanning to check up on the high ground to see that, in fact, Tarson has nothing available for play. There is a banshee in back for Tarson, but it looks like his Marines are able to take that cloud, pulling all of his SCVs off the line, nearly all of them. He's only got a handful of Marines to deal with, and he sees those reinforcements from Cookie Monster, and he's forced to call GG. Yeah, very good game there. What do you think Tarsk would have done differently to pull the game back into his favor? Um, pull the game back into his favor, I'd say probably might have, instead of going for those Banshees, he probably should have gone for some Siege Tech, uh, just to hold off a defensive line to keep Cloud out of his base. That definitely would have worked, especially if he'd managed to perhaps get them in his medevacs, drop them up onto the ridge by his natural expansion and shell it from above, and then take his own natural as well to try to balance out the economy. Yeah, I've got to say that would have worked extremely well with that drop on that high ground that's really, really devastating against uh, any race but it can be pretty bad against uh, Zerg especially, but it still has its place against Terran. Yeah, it's, it's relatively easy to counter as well, with Cloud being, bringing his own medevac and dropping directly on top of the tanks, but then he's just pick them back up again. Yeah, I gotta say, it seems like Tarson just maybe got too greedy with that push, maybe he should have tried to play more defensively until he was able to build up a bigger army to... Cl uh, counter Cloud's economic advantage he really needed to play a lot more defensively in this case definitely and even looking at the units lost tab um, Cloud lost less units and less resources as well than his one base opponent despite going more heavy into the macro play yeah and taking a look at the production I mean even at the end all Tarson has was that single medevac and a handful of marines coming out while Cookie Monster was putting down a, another factory, it looks like he might have been looking for a tech switch himself, a Marauder, six Marines, another Raven, and that combat shield. So I think by that point it was well in the bag for Cookie Monster. Definitely. And that's where we're going to end the replay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.